Higgins picture popped up and he was in a Santa suit and he had this giant smile on his face and I looked at him and I was like, oh, he's cute. And then when I clicked on the story, it told the story of how he was abandoned by a roadside. And as soon as he got to my house, it was love at first sight. My name is Stacy Place. I am a music teacher from Exeter, Rhode Island. I've had several dogs before Higgins. I had two greyhounds and now Higgins the pit bull. Higgins, can you say hi, buddy? Can you say hi? So in February of 2018, my greyhound had passed away. He was, he was my whole life. And when he passed, it, for me, it was hard. I had talked about him at school. It was hard for the kids and I really didn't know I'd find another dog. I was actually looking for another greyhound. I had put in like the parameters of what I was looking for and there weren't very many greyhounds available. So Higgins' picture popped up. And then when I clicked on the story, it told the story of how he was abandoned by a roadside in Tennessee. And unfortunately the dog he was dumped with had been hit by a car and Higgins sat by his dead friend or brother for at least a week the problem with Higgins was nobody wanted to adopt him. They loved him, but people were really nervous about adopting him. So by the time I was ready to adopt him, he had been there for 17 months and he was living in like this little box that just could hold his bed. And as soon as he got to my house, it was love at first sight. Immediately, I knew he was the dog I was going to get. And the kids at school heard all about him and I told stories about him and they thought he was really funny. March 13th of 2020, they sent us home from school and they were like, we don't know what's gonna happen. It could be two weeks, it could be two months. We don't know if you're coming back. I had to start teaching music from home and every single time I would log on, the first thing the kids would say is, well, where's Higgins? And I would like point the camera to him and they'd see him. And it really kind of cheered everybody up, including myself. What do you like about Higgins? He's just so cute and he's so much like one of my dogs. Very like cute and he was just very fun to watch during music. His Halloween costume so funny. Which yeah. one was your favorite? Do you remember? He was a he was a Bronco, wasn't he? He was. He was. Through that whole school year, we were completely virtual and they really couldn't see their friends, which was hard. They couldn't see their teachers and they were looking for some kind of connection. And Higgins seemed to be the way that they could connect to me more than just myself. During the pandemic, do you think Higgins cheered you up at all? Definitely. He did. How did he do that? Because he always makes me laugh. It's just nice to watch like in distance learning. We would get to watch him just bark at the window or roll around on the floor. School was hard then because like you were doing it all online and you had to get used to the online stuff. And hearing about what Higgins was doing pretty much every day almost um, really did gym me up. It felt good that, I, that there was other dogs in the world that were also doing good. It wasn't just a bad world for everybody. When we went into lockdown and when we were in school, one of the things that I was in charge of was doing the school announcements every morning. And a lot of times it was either some sort of mindfulness video or some sort of life lesson. And talking about bullying and looking at somebody who doesn't look like you and not automatically judging that person. Higgins, of course, as a pit bull, all the time, people will walk to the other side of the street if they see me walking him down the road. I teach in a rural school district, and when somebody different comes in, it's not always that they're accepting to them. And thinking about Higgins and thinking, you automatically accepted him. Well, other people, you can do that too, as well. There are a lot of animals that are abandoned. People leave, like Higgins was left by the side of the road, and they just need somebody to be able to say, hey, that's my dog and that dog needs love. As a teacher, we see that with kids too. There are some kids that are just so starving for love and as soon as they get it, you see their whole life change. And I think that's the same thing with animals. As soon as the animal finds their person, their whole life is gonna change.